Can we get a little bit of pre-Christmas excitement? Today we're playing in the FA Cup against Gillingham. So maybe... Hello and welcome to episode 4 of To Be A Legend. My name is Mark and on today's episode we have games against Gillingham in the FA Cup second round and against Bradford Park Avenue in the Vanarama National League North. And for those of you who did watch uh, Bottom Up To The Top, um, which was a save on FM20, if not, go back to the playlist and have a look because it's there, the whole series um, of that before FM21 come out we were actually um, managing Bradford Park Avenue so uh, it's worth a, a look if you have the time um, just a quick update on what's been going on while you've been away you will see from the table here we are top of the table after just 10 games 26 points uh, with a goal difference of 17 we are doing extremely well should I say um, we have drawn a game in here so last time you were with us was Brackley Town and Maidenhead since then we've beaten uh, Southport in the league 2-1 Kettering Town 2-0 uh, we had a 0-0 draw against Hereford um, it was one of those games we just uh, didn't really uh, seem to pull it out of the bag where um, they uh, really had the possession um, but not the firepower we had the firepower but not the possession and uh, one cancelled the other one out basically uh, and then we had a nice 4-0 win against Blythe Spartans um, and uh, then a 5-1 win against uh, Spennymore a hat-trick from Harry Cardwell who you will see is getting himself on the score sheet um, quite a bit this season and wouldn't have particularly uh, a uh, good start at the uh, not particularly good at the start but he seems to be finding a little bit of form now um, and Henry Ogenby is also getting himself on the score sheet as well two goals against Kettering Town and found the net again in the game against Blythe Spartans so that's where we are transfer wise there hasn't actually been anything happening since you were last with us um, uh, I don't believe. Just double check. No, Dylan Meredith was in. Tyler Garrett had gone out. Uh, one thing that we do have at the moment is we have a transfer embargo on us. And that is because the board are in the process um, of uh, looking at a potential takeover bid. Um, I bet I can't find the news item now. Um, but it looks like uh, the supporters trust are looking to uh, to step in to take us over. Here we go found it um so transfer rumors at victory park gather fresh momentum this week and recently relegated chorley reportedly holding takeover talks with newly founded supporters trust uh, the trust led by Charlie chorley investor and season tick holder ken rowe is uh, said to be looking uh, looking to raise around eighty-five thousand pounds to complete the deal the chorley board have placed an embargo upon transfers as a result of the rumors uh, regarding a possible takeover um, and these restrictions will remain in place until the outcome of any takeover has been resolved that was on the 21st of November we're on the 28th so it's about a week um, since that happened um, so uh, we do have a little bit of a problem at the moment we want to bring any trials in we can't um, and those that are leaving uh, on trial that we want to retain uh, we can't either so we're a little bit stuck as it's as it currently stands um, otherwise I don't think there's a lot more to report really I think it's probably high time that we got through to the uh, game against Gilliam in the FA Cup And this is the team that we are putting out against Gillingham. Uh, Irwin, Ingall, Hines, Baines, Leather and Guimphy are in defence. Walker and Collins in midfield with Miller and Ogenby in front of them. And up front, Riley and Cardwell on the bench. We have uh, Taylor, Trotman, Shenton, Ball, O'Malley, Andal Gibbons and Mara. Um, so... Um, 
Yes, uh, I think since uh, you were last with us, Baines has been actually having a real run of form. Um, played some absolutely fantastic games um, just recently, as you'll see, 7.64, 7.62 average rating. Um, and yeah, he's uh, he's doing extremely well. Um, Cardwell um, on eight goals is the uh, leading the goal tallies. Ogunby's doing quite well as well. Riley on six and Charlie Ball on three as it currently stands. They are our um, goal scorers um, to boot. So um, let's go through to the dressing room and get our obligatory match uh, the teams. Team sheet is the word I was looking for. <laughs> Um, it seems to be taking a long while. I'm not quite sure why. There we go. Through to the dressing room then, and I think we pump fists and we say, I know we're underdogs here, but go on out there and give the fans a performance to cheer from. Um, or do we go media? Well, let's go the media. That seems to have done the trick. Thank you to. Now, interestingly, there isn't very many people here. They're in the upper stands. There are a few. Oh, there are a few people about. Right, Baines to leather, leather back to Baines. Baines looking for Walker, and a bit of one-two between Walker and Baines. Miller has it on the wing here. Walker looks for Hines. Hines doing well on the overlap until the um, cross, which didn't really come off. There are games in the National League North today. We'll keep one eye on those while uh, while the game's going on. O'Connor and Eccles interacting over that far side. And Baines tried to get the header in, but Irwin equal to it as the and they have scored after eleven minutes, twelve minutes. And Samuel with his ninth goal of the season. So we go a goal down. Not all lost. But uh, on this occasion. Not quite sure who that is. We'll let it go on a little bit more. Let's see if we can find out. We can't find out. Don't think it's Baines. Leather's there. Riley's there. It could be Baines actually. And having... Yeah, it could be Baines. And having uh, having said that he's been having a good time, he missed that one. And that's not done us a power of good. And can we get the league table? We can't. Okay. Let's just seeing if we could get a league table um, to see what's going on while we're playing in the cup. But we can't. So we're still in this at the minute. Well, they've had three shots, three on target. We've had two shots, none on target. But our XG slightly more, which suggests we could score if we can just get the opportunity. Hines cuts that out, but only back into the middle as far as them. And... Ah! Was that Baines again? No, it was Leather this time, I think. And the FA Cup trip, I fear, stops here. In fact, it could have been Baines. Yeah, it was Baines. And he's been booked as well. Just got a foot to it and I think diverted it over the goalkeeper. Question of offside here, but he was onside. And... Right, I think it's time for us to have a shout fire up. What we're also going to do is we're going to balance to positive because we need to push a little bit now to try and get at least a goal back before half time if we can. But not looking very promising, I'm afraid. And 
and half time comes and we are those two goals down not insurmountable just yet let's go through to the dressing room and Tell me what you're all about in the second half. And they kick off. I am considering going to attacking because one, that's what we that's what we know. Cardwell being fouled. And we won't see the highlight for the foul, so I suggest we didn't do much with it. Miller now on the ball. Miller to Hines. Hines with a long ball forward looking for Raleigh. Raleigh will pick it up. Can he put this away? No. Goalkeeper equal to it. Had he put that away, that would have made it extremely interesting. We do have a corner on the far side. It's Walker to take the corner. Ball in. Looking for somebody in the middle there. With nobody there, it's gone out for a throw. So. Clear cut chance here. Raleigh with the chance. Over the top and whams it against the goalkeeper defender was in close attendance um, but didn't get there leather to Cardwell Cardwell is beaten by the defender and Samuel is on the ball again and Baines has been beaten again and if this goes in which it does Samuel gets his hat trick Baines is not having a good game having really pumped him up and said that he'd had a fantastic game he's having a complete opposite of a day today and I think it's time for him to come off really is he's playing okay it says but mm. so who have we got that will come on in his place we haven't actually got a central defender on the bench which is very poor which also means that he won't be coming off. Not quite sure how we've managed that, but we uh, that's what comes of not checking. On the bench, so we're going to have to leave him on for now. Gimpy and Collins are tiring out there. 60 minutes, we will look to bring him on. Cardwell picks the ball up now. Swings it out to Ogenby. Ogenby now. He's block, shot blocked by the defender. He really telegraphed what he was about to do, I think. Walker with the corner. In the middle again looking for somebody. Baines is there. And tidies up. But to no avail. And it is time for us to have a look and bring on Right, Gimpy is tired, so we're going to switch Gimpy for saying Oli Shenton. How the heck? For Luke Trotman. Um, Michael Collins, we will bring on Oli Shenton. And that, we will leave it at that for the moment. Because as we know, it can bite us in the bum if we're not careful it's got leather and Akeem are both on one ear ignore that we know they're on yellow cards but they have a corner coil with the corner but it's uh, cleared and cardwell has the ball back to trotman trotman forward not finding anybody shenton now finds walker walker to riley riley and he's basically dispossessed and Baines there with the header but it's only gone as far as Clark for Gillingham and I think we're going to change we're going to demand more and we're going from positive to attacking now we're not going to get three goals back I don't think not unless we score one fairly soon 
That's over the top to Riley. Riley has tidied it up and he's blasted it into the back of the net. And soon, I mean soon. So, could this be game on? Over the top, Riley picking it up and bang. We need another one fairly quickly if we are going to get back into this. Leather looking for Cardwell. Didn't quite find him, but Walker and Shenton switching balls. Trotman and Walker now. Now to Shenton. Shenton to Riley. Riley to Ogenby. Ogenby was taking a shot. So was Cardwell. But both the shots were blocked. I wonder where they would have gone, had they gone. And Trotman has ceremoniously dumped. But he's only got a yellow card for it, thankfully. Cross coming in. Ogenby with the header out for a corner. And Gillingham half the corner. Coyle with the corner. In. Leather out. Ogenby. Ogenby to Cardwell. Cardwell on his own now. And he's beaten his defender. Can he get... No, there's not enough there. Miller. And just... Basically holds on the ball. Bain's been caught again by Samuel. And Samuel buries number four. He's fourth of the uh, game. He's played a fantastic game as Dominic Samuel. And Bain's caught again. Bain's has had a torrid time with him today. <clears throat> and that for sure is game over. And the goal... was just but a consolation I think Miller through to Riley he's not going to make it as the goalkeeper keeper comes out and so <clears throat> is Baines going to get called again by Samuel no because I think Leather was in attendance that time <clears throat> Keith being very cl cl closely watched and then made a mistake. Riley gets in now. Riley puts it wide. So time to make that final change. Sam Walker is very, very tired. <clears throat> um, Andal Gibbons can come on for Walker. Logan be also very tired. Next game is in two days. The game against Bradford Park Avenue in the league. So we have our work cut out. And here, good save by Irwin. That looked as if it was going in the back of the net. But we survived that one and a header over the top from Gillingham. long throw into the penalty area Baines clears but only as far as a Gillingham player and Gillingham really have had the best of this game Trotman now to Ogenby Ogenby yeah, he didn't have the pace then and was caught out by Gillingham Samuel looking for a way through not finding it at the minute Baines marking him closely but that's over the top and blocked Ogenby, I think Trotman blocked it. Ogenby going on a little bit of a run. He's been tripped. And Medley is going to go into the referee's book. Four minutes of injury time here at the priest field. Blocked again there. Had lots of shots. But uh, Irwin going out but only finds their player and Irwin runs out picks the ball up on ball forward to Cardwell who manages to get it out to Ogenby Ogenby now cross in against the defender 
and they have the counter again. Graham with the ball coming forward and Samuel looking for his fifth of the game. Irwin with a long ball, but nobody out there. Oganby comes back, picks it up. Trotman now forward. Didn't find Riley or Cardwell. Baines with a header clear. And again, it's only gone as far as Gillingham. And I think that's probably the story of the afternoon. We've just not been in control at all at any point in the game. And... That's gone out for another throw. In fact, is that full time? No. Yes, it is. Um, and all in all, a disappointing afternoon in the FA Cup, but it does mean we can concentrate now on the league. Um, point finger. We were underdogs out there. You gave it the best good effort, lads. Oh, demotivated them. Never mind. Not good with the game coming up in two days' time, is it? Um, so there we are. Um, what else has been going on around us? Well, while we've been away, the York City have only managed a draw against Hereford, uh, which means that they've played a game more than us now and are two points behind us. So. If we can win that game in hand, that opens up nicely for us uh, with a little bit of a uh, daylight between us and York. Other games, Darlington 1-1, one, one, Fylde 2-0, uh, Leamington 1-0 and Telford losing 2-0 to Blythe Spartans. So, let's have a look and see how that lines up for the next game against Bradford Park Avenue. And does it mean, I'm not sure if this is our game in hand, but if it is, can we win it? And can we open a gap up at the top of the league? And here we are with the team that we have chosen for the game against Bradford Park Avenue. Irwin in goal, O'Malley, Baines, Leather, Gimphy, Shenton and Collins in midfield. Ogunby, Newby are attacking midfield. And then Riley and Cardwell up front. And on the bench we have Taylor, Halls, Hines, Miller and Ball. Um, so let's see if we have any familiar faces. Um, Henry Ogunby, of course, um, was one of the players that uh, played for Bradford Park Avenue in our From the Bottom Up to the Top series. Um, all right. No, Mitchell Yund, yes. Uh, no, no, no. Isaac Marriott, yes. Lewis Knight, yes. Jake Hibbs, I think he was, but I think we got rid of him. Nicky Klee, yes. Nowowski, yes. Uh don't recognise any of the uh, substitutes. So there are a few who um, we recognise from our time with Bradford upon a uh, Bradford, not Bradford upon a Bradford Park Avenue. Um, right. So pump fists, outstretched arms, pump fists. Uh, So here we are. The ground looks a bit familiar. Albeit it has changed from its days in FM 20. I'm sure we had a, a stand behind this goal actually. Well, there we go. Um, well, that went to nothing. I'm not sure what was going on there with that highlight, but we do have a throw in. Leather with the throw in to Collins to Leather. Leather with a cross into the box, but nobody there. It's going to be tidied up by Baines. Baines with the ball for Riley, who hits it on the volley, gets his eighth goal of the season, five minutes gone, and we are 1 0 up. So, seems a bit rotten um, against the team that. Uh, were our team a 
Baines, lovely ball over the top. Just checking he's not offside. Riley was coming back on. Um, I think he had been, but he wasn't at that particular moment. So, um, Shenton with the corner. Ogenby picks it up on the edge of the area. Shenton with a cross back in. Collins! And Collins with a downward header that looked as if it wasn't going in for a moment. Actually crept in the corner. And with just nine and a half minutes gone, we are 2 nil up. Second goal of the season for Michael Collins. Ball comes back out. Ogenby on the edge of the area. Flicks it to Shenton. Shenton across the box. And Collins heading it down. And in it goes. Long ball out to Newby now. Newby goes forward. Gimphy with the cross in. Gimphy has been booked. Headed out only as far as Newby. Gimphy. Oh, what a goal. Dennis Gimphy. Or Gayamphy. His first goal of the season. And what a goal that was. 12 minutes gone. And we are 3-0 up. Really are monopolising this game. Um, complete contrast to Gillingham. It's almost like we're overpowered in this uh, division. Of course, Chorley were a team that came down at the end of last season. Ogenby and Baines getting very tired very quickly. We'll keep an eye on them. Ogan be on the left side, which is not uh, his preferred side. He's knight now. Oh, I think it's Ogan be out there with him. Oh, Shenton let the ball go through his legs to start off with, but he managed to recover. Riley now on the attack. Oh, nearly. Huffer stopped it at the post. Guy Amphi finds Cardwell. Might have been on a touch offside there, um, but Shenton with the shot wide in the end. Ogenby is very tired. I'm going to try and get him through to half time as long as he doesn't pick up an injury. And not had a good game out there. We've won the ball. Ogenby with the ball now. And nearly tackled. Collins looking for Riley. Riley sets himself up and blasts it over the top. And they have Klee. Nicky Klee with the... And Nowalski! Adam Nowalski gets one back. So looking comfortable at 3-0. They managed to get one back on us. And let's hope that isn't a little bit of inspiration for them going into half time. Question of offside here. He wasn't, but uh, I think the number three was. But uh, there we go. Half time comes. And a, a couple of substitutions may need to be made at half time. Right. First of all. Outstretched arms. Please, your performance. Keep it going, lads. Um, right. What we also need to do is Guyumphy. Where is he? I can't find him. Ogenby. He's not having a good game either. There he is. Guyumphy. Watch your step. Anybody else? Scott Leather not having a fantastic game. Ogenby we know is not having a good game. Everybody else seems to be performing. So we're okay with that. Right, let's go to tactics. And the only reason I did it that way around. Because unless they fixed it, you can't get back. Haven't found a way yet. Somebody knows. In the comments, please. In the comments below. Um, right. Ogenby. Replaced by Sean Miller. Baines seems to be okay again for a minute, but we have got Andy Halls on the bench, and it's Andy Halls that we are going to bring on for him. So they are our two changes at half time. Shenton. 
Shenton now to Miller. Back to Shenton. And the highlight disappears. I think that was the kickoff highlight that wasn't going anywhere really. They have come back into this game quite a bit uh, and are possession wise, so it's going to be a shout for Demand Moore. We do have the XG in our favour, but uh, not so much in this second half are we getting much yardage here. Leather now is tired. And they're suggesting bringing Heinz on for him. Michael Collins will have to wait. I'll have to ignore him. Long ball, Irwin equal to it. Seems to go a long while without a highlight there. Long ball forward, finds Cardwell. Cardwell blocked by the defender. And we have a corner. Can we make something from this corner? Shenton with the corner in, looking for Riley, but it's headed clear, and Shenton isn't going to make it out there. And they've run it out. O'Malley with the throw in. Long ball past Riley over his shoulder. Riley gets it, crosses it, looking for Cardwell. Defender gets there before him. Collins now to Gimphy. Gimphy looking for Newby. Newby not really featured that much in the game, but he is there. Long ball forward by Collins, looking for Riley, but it was just a bit overhit uh, in this instance. Huffer with the ball out to Hines, and they've picked it up. Kind of fall them. Oof. If they'd got another goal back there, it would have been an interesting 20 minutes or so. Guyamphi is tired. Hines, and that's what comes of two games in three days. Hines forward, and one of those against a side like Gillingham. Riley now. Put this one to bed, Riley. Oh, I'm blocked. It's going out for a throw in. And it's going down as a clear cut chance, and brilliant pick up by Riley. Um, and again, I think Ty just didn't have the pace to uh, to bop that one away. What we are going to do, tactically, I haven't really done it a great deal in this um, in this save. It's just swap those two over, only on the basis that um, Newby, I think, can only play down one side, can he? Yes, he can. Um, just confuses the defence a little bit. You switch the uh, switch the strikers over and just um, gives them a little bit of space sometimes. Not always. Irwin with the ball forward, looking for Newby. Well, I don't know if he was looking for Newby, but he found him. Anyway, the ball's uh, bobbling around there. Shenton picks it up in midfield, finds Collins. Collins now with the ball forward, um, looking for Riley or Cardwell. Neither were going after it. And Klee has the ball on the wing, being watched by Gumphy. Guy Gumphy. Long ball forward, Hines, with the header out of defence. And he's not sure who that was. Miller messing up and giving the ball away. And they've got in here. Ooh, just wide. They are putting us under some lot of pressure, which suggests that we should draw. Oh, we are on a positive. I thought we were on attacking. I think we need to go to balance to possibly try and see this game out. And again, Doherty's going to get to that. He's got more legs. And he's cut that inside. Nobody there, thankfully. Hines gets rid of it to Cardwell. Cardwell now. He's been tackled by Nowowski. Newby now. A long ball forward looking for Miller. He's found him. Miller should have cut inside there. And then taken the shot as it was. He tried the shot from where he was and uh, blocked. Looking for Clee, but going on feet clears, but not finding Riley. We have a throw in now. Irwin. And Doherty's going to outrun 
again. Oh, this was the clear cut chance. Sorry. I was thinking uh, we had a, a replay that was very, very similar there to what we'd already seen. And I think going balanced has probably finished this off. Nowowski's picked up a yellow card. Hines finds Shenton. Shenton backpedaling finds Newby, and that is the end of the game. So, not the best of possession. We did actually have more shots and more on target. And the XG tells the story. I think that is a reflection of the fact that our XG, our shots were a little bit better. Not a massive. Good win. Well done, boys. And, yeah, I think we could have probably done a wee bit better there. But, anyway, on equal games now with York, we have a five-point gap. As I said, a little bit of daylight here now. Um, and then Kidderminster Harris, who have a game in hand over York. Uh, but if they were to win that, they are on 25. We still have a four-point four point gap. So, obviously, our next job is to uh, tr concentrate on actually making that gap a little bit bigger. Give us a little bit of cushion. Uh, 11 games unbeaten in the league. Um, and I think Guy Amphi gets the job done. Um Let's just have a look there and have a look at the schedule. We will be coming back. We've got Basford next in the FA Trophy uh, second round. Um, we will be coming back around about the start of January. So we're going to work through December um, and we'll be coming back barring uh, FA Trophy second rounds around about the start of uh, December, uh, January for uh, Gateshead, Farsley. Um, and depends if we get through the FA Trophy and uh, there's FA Trophy match down here, we may slot in with that. Uh, but at the moment, Gateshead and Farsley, our athletic, are the side that we are looking at. Um, obviously got some big games coming up. Kidderminster um, being sort of fairly close behind us um as it stands um a winner against them would be really really useful well i hope you've enjoyed today's episode if you have don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and keep up to date with all the future episodes of to be a legend and new series will be as they are released uh, new episodes are currently released every wednesday and friday on this particular series i think if i just check my schedule i think that's right for next week is it um Yes, back to normal next week, Wednesday and Friday, not Monday and Wednesday, as was this week. Um, why not follow me on Twitter, just uh, at Just Offside 2, for all the updates on this channel, new series and more. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode, episode 5. Be along soon. Bye now.